So welcome everybody to another Cambly Chess Club Zoom meeting. James, you're going to do something, um, uh, uh, an introduction and a game or so from yes. the Hastings um, International Congresses that have uh, obviously been going on for a long time. Right. Hastings is in Sussex. It's on the coast of Sussex. The first tournament you'll have heard of, if you've heard of any of history, is 1895, which was the big event of the 19th century. It was the strongest event they've ever had um, in the 19th century. And it was won by Pillsbury, surprisingly, the American. Steinitz competed, Lasker competed. Uh, Chigorin did extremely well in the tournament. Chigorin still wanted to play a match for the World Championship against Steinitz. He never did get round to beating him. Uh, the England players Blackburn and Byrne competed and they had about 15, 16 players in the tournament. Um, the important thing to note after that is that nothing happened. They didn't have an 1896, 97, 98. The annual congresses, which we so enjoy, started just after the First World War. The Victory Congress in 1919 was won by Capablanca. And annually, apart from COVID or wars or what you will, it's been held ever since. Um, I recommend it if you want to go for the day. There's a commentary by Chris Ward. If you want to go for a weekend, there's weekend congresses. If you want to go for five days or play in the Masters, there's a nine round tournament. But they haven't got a sponsor. Not a big one anyway. The local hotels cough up a few quid. The local council cough up a few pounds. But basically, it's fairly bereft of large names because it doesn't have large monies. Now I'm gonna show you a game which was uh, selected by Gollenbeck in his history of chess to be, well, to be as high as anything could be. Um, this is a game between Julio Kaplan and David Bronstein. Uh, Kaplan was world junior champion in 1967. Mm -hmm. I think the reason, with greatest respect to the great man who is still alive, I think, was that it was political. There was the seven day or six days war. Um, I think Keane probably did very well in this tournament, but he didn't win it. If he won it, he'd never get over the excitement, would he, being Ray? But anyway, let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. And this is against David Bronstein, who, who played for the World Championship in 1951, um, but was a bit of a naughty boy and wouldn't sign letters condemning Fisher uh, or even saying that Spassky didn't really make a, more of an effort to prepare at Reykjavik. And so this was uh, one of the first tournaments. He came to the Alexander Memorial, uh, Hugh Alexander, who died in 1975 in the um, August September and thereafter he came again at Christmas so this is his game um, and Kaplan as I say was white now let's see if I can make this work I think I can here we are Bronstein said many of his most famous and beloved games I've got this book which I know some of you have also got how's that there's David in painting form he said he enjoyed defending the French. So let's have a look. The classical French. Okay. Now, this is the variation named after Amos Byrne. Uh, Bronstein is a bit of a sentimentalist. And when he came to England, he would play one C4 or write it down pawn to queen bishop four and then say, I play this in honor of uh, Howard Staunton, who that's where the name of the English defense, uh, the English opening comes from. Well, here he, he honors Amos Byrne and he plays the Byrne variation. Uh, the other, Bishop B7, uh, is just the classical, or Bishop B4 is the McCutcheon. So we have a bit of a pin here, but it's nothing to get aerated about. Now, this is very committal, but it's also fa uh, fairly well known. Um, let's see what happens now bit of development. Um, yeah, we, we, you can play B6 here, um, but that's not what's happened. Again, this system tends to be associated with B6 
people that want a short draw, like Peter Clark, who was rather famous for this system. Hmm. Some preparation. And now C5. In other words, Tim Harding writing notes on this game said if you play pawn takes pawn, knight takes pawn, then bishop b5 is a good move. Well, Tim, thank you for that. And don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> so, in fact, he pushes on. Slightly uh, surprising. Now, I think that's the first move of the game where Kaplan would have put his head in his hands and said, look, Miss Bronstein, I'm not going through rehearsed circles. I'm going into something new. And David hits out the pawns move. Now we are getting exciting. What's this? Do you know what? If only I knew. <laughs> now you can take on either side. Uh, you can take on either side. There, look, more complications. Bronstein said that uh, Kaplan didn't take on F7 because he thought he might be losing. Bronstein said he would have taken the, the perpetual, but Bronstein says all sorts of things that probably aren't true. So I don't mean he's a liar. He was a liar. I mean, he was embroiderer or he was a romanticizer. So in this position, he takes on here. Since it's check, at least it's a forcing line. Hitting the rook, of course, you don't need to be told that. Hmm. Oh. It's pretty committal. He would have had to think very deeply about that, wouldn't he? Wouldn't he just? Let's get the photographs out of the way. Now, more development for white. So black's got the bishop pair. Who, who do we think is going to win? The e-pawn might not be a goner, but it doesn't look. And the black king looks a bit windy. What do you think, windy? Yes. Well, yeah. Drafty, I think the expression is. That's it, drafty. They're, play they're playing drafts, yes. Okay, well, let's see what happens to the e-pawn. Mm. White's moves are flowing quite. Whoa. Now, he doesn't like this. He doesn't That's like knight four. takes e4. Bronstein said that was the losing move. What? Oh. I can't believe that, but the Bronstein says any amount of things. He said he, sh he should have played, uh, Kaplan should have played 15 bishop c4 um, with equality. No. Knowing Bronstein is seen right through to the end. Obviously, the knight was losing its orientation on e4. Ooh. The black pieces spring into action. We're about to see more pins than in any hat display from <laughs> the 19th century. Actually, I read a thing in a social history which said, ladies, if you think you're going to be kissed when you're going through a darkened railway bridge, put pins in your mouth. So if you see anybody with pins in their mouth, you'll know why. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, well, right, the queen goes here. This is nothing, this is nothing spectacular. But the pins, those two bishops, look at this. This is what's called irksome. This gives the opportunity for me to quote Thomas of Beckett with a turbulent priest. And he said how much he enjoyed that bishop being on that square. And if he could have advanced it even further back, he could have done. Thank goodness I didn't quote that. With the queen's off, but there's still a pin. Look, look, look. It endures. It endures. Ronstein gives up the exchange, but look what he gets back. Look, and in this position, Kaplan resigned. There. A good game? Andrew, is that a good game? 
I can't hear what you're saying, but I hope it's... What's Black's that. plan here to win? Uh, White's, uh, White's got no moves, that's a problem. That, that, yeah, White's got no moves, so I'm a bit worried about what happens when he runs out of peace moves. So that's the answer to this, is it? I suppose, yeah. yes, you, his king's going to come rattling in. Well, and... if White moves his pawns up, eventually they stop. Yes. And then he has to move his king or his D1 rook, both of which would lose. Yes, yep. it would. Yes, it would. Yes, I don't think there could be any doubt about that. So Black anyway. just needs to move his pawns up and and then wait for White to have to move a piece. Yes, I'm afraid that's the case. Right. Wow. Okay. okay. Right. Let's look at the second game I've got for you. This is from an earlier time, really, uh, before British chess had developed at all. Um, 1959, 1960. So let's see if I can get this online. I just, can I just add something about that game? Oh, I wish you would. Um, how important that last move was of Bronstein's C4, because yeah, he's, not gone. Played, he's not played C4. No. White, White could have played C4 and then C3 and then King C2. And, and, White not White, and got out of it. Got out of the pin. So that, that yeah. move C4 yes. was, uh, was the final nail in the coffin, which doesn't look obvious to start with, but that... that really was it and he so, must have seen that earlier yeah no yeah i suppose so now of course i've done the usual thing i've lost my chest i've lost all the blinking you know so, so james what while you're looking for that i mean i may have already mentioned this before but uh i, I had the fortune of playing against david in david bronstein in uh Teesside, wasn't sorry you played him in Teesside, didn't you that's right yes and uh lasted um I managed to last twice as long as uh, uh, Kaplan, so... Um, I don't <laughs> right, well, that's a good... You should have been world yeah. champion in 19... You're a big name dropper, you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but... I just, just to say one other thing about how polite uh, David Bronstein was, because when you said about the English, I thought, oh, I wonder what he played, because ob obviously this was a simultaneous... Yes. And simultaneous, uh, obviously, the... Um, uh, the person giving it is normally white, and I can see that I was white. Uh, he he let me play. Uh, he let me play white, which was yes, very good of him. Um, I think I think with Bronstein, he, he he was endlessly looking for a way out. In a way, um, he would sort of say, "Well, you know, don't take chess too seriously, or I'll give you I'll offer draws on all the boards if anyone wants one before we start and all this sort of thing." <laughs> so I think that you know his competitive edge disappeared. And yeah. he's a very old man. I know he went to, someone took him, probably his wife, who was a lot younger, um, who was Boleslavsky's uh, daughter, took him to oh. uh, an event. And he said, I could beat a couple of these guys, which is probably true, actually. But, you know, you begin to wonder, you say, come on, David, you know, you know, a joke's a joke. Anyway, see if I can find a second game, which uh, uh, that one I had a bit of background to, the second one I don't. But nevertheless, let's see if I can find it. With an apology if it goes all wrong as usual. Without C4, uh, white won't win, right? I mean, black won't win without C4. So C4 is yeah, such well, a... Andrew, Andrew said that it, it puts a clamp, doesn't it, on, on, yeah. the, on the major pieces, meaning that, that it's only the pawns which... Uh, it's only the pawns which move. Correct, uh, correct. Then the king yes. will march to G3 and then... Uh, yeah, I think so. It, there's G3. probably more, to, more finesse to it than we knew, but nevertheless, it's nice to think that... Uh, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, I have completely uh, lost uh, the. For those, of you, for those of you that got my the book of my games, you'll see I played Bronstein uh, a couple of times, and one time I beat him with the uh, um, that the Haldane hack. Oh right! And uh, uh, for I those asked, of you following at home that don't know what the Haldane hack is it's queen h5 at what move five or something yeah, against the French again it's the French defense yes uh, yeah. yes afterwards yeah. Bronstein was just enamored he said well I know if I don't have to play AP Smith again he said. <laughs> when I asked him what he thought he said you were just playing for tricks that's, what he said. Oh, that's a bit that, that's a bit come on but anyway uh, and then yes. in the bar, he did relax in the bar afterwards when when we sat down uh, and uh, you know it was in Lewisham Chess Club and yes, uh, he, um, that's right. he, he sat down and became much more uh, 
much more uh, jolly. But in the, I think he lost about four or five games in that simultaneous display. Because oh, I thought games. you meant you played him in a one-to-one, Andrew. Oh, no, no, simultaneous. No. Well, you could have been. You could have been. He was very strong I could there. Been. I could have been, yeah. I can't find the second game. It's not coming up. This is very new to me. I think I'll stop now. I think... Uh, well, I think well, well James, James, a suggestion. Hello. When you say you can't find it, maybe just cancel your screen and... And, and start again. again. Yeah, yeah, OK. Stop share. Stop share. Yep, you've stopped. Now, find it on your computer first. Yes. And then... Uh, okay. and then we'll I've got your picture, thing. Martin, which is pretty good. I mean, that's the best oh. bit, I would have thought. Yeah. Um, yes. I can in see the meantime, a little puzzle if, while he's finding it, if you want, Martin. Yes, in the meantime, may I ask Paul if you have got what you were going to show? Come on, Paul. And then, James, you've got lots of time to find your other game that we would like to see. I've, I've got a couple of things uh, I could show if there's time as well. Yep, excellent. OK, thank you. Oh, we Good. don't want yeah, Andrew. Brilliant. No, no, will I put... No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Oh. This is a study, um, and it's white to play and win. Right, so we're going to have a little think about this, are we, Paul? You can have a think about it, yes. I, I had a think about it. I really struggled. I should think you did. Oh. So um. Black is playing down the board. So Black's got two oh. boards about to queen. <laughs> and White's just got a knight, a bishop and a rook. Right, so the two blank pawns on A2 and B2 uh, could could move forward and queen uh, immediately, right? Yeah, but it's white to move. White to move, right, OK. Surely the first question we must ask ourselves is, can we construct a mating net, even if he uh, promotes both the pawns or one, and then which becomes active? Um, can we... Can, can we mate the black king yeah and he doesn't he doesn't promote with check of course so, so i was thinking james yeah with that in mind bishop d5 but then if you need to move the knight the knight blocks the bishop so the king gets away maybe to g8 so but that was the idea of bishop d5 yes yes i my first thought is uh, um rook to rook to e6 and then bishop to c6 next move. Ah. Uh, threatens yeah. mate on e8. And stick the boot in like that, yes. But, but oh, it would have the... promoted one of his pawns to a queen, which is then very active, surely. Yeah. OK. Um, yeah, 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 but we've got we've got a little time in hand, haven't we? Well, yes. We... <laughs> I but think if one, you, one if second you... move has to be checked, surely, otherwise... The, well, the in which back. case, Andrew Andrew's rookie e6 is playing for the other side because... The knight is the only checker, isn't it? Uh, Unless you come to f6 and give away correct. the rook. A rook, rook e6, uh, pawn queens, bishop c6, the rook e6, not there. A rook e6. That's not... rook b6. Oh, sorry. And then queen, and then bishop c6. Well, we've, got, we've got checks now, haven't we? Uh, Bishop C6, yeah. D5. Bishop C6. I was threatening uh, checkmate here. <coughs> yeah. Yes. But it's not even... But we've got Queen, Queen A5 check, can't we? Or Queen A7. Or Queen C8 check. Or Queen C1 check, yeah. Queen C1 check. Oh, yeah. OK. It's rubbish. Fair enough. Gentlemen, I don't think we should have allowed this, but on the other hand, because... And then the pawn, the other pawn can queen. The first yeah, move can be non -check. First move work. can be non-check, but second move should be made, I think. First move. Oh, yes, what, 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 I what, think what? you have to check on the first move because he just no let him promote, but if you can after uh, first non-check, after then you have a series of checks and deliver a mate that is possible, or mm -hmm. all checks, either of the two. Yeah, I think I agree. I think I agree with that, but on the other hand, um Is rook b8 worth anything? And then when the knight moves other where, we could possibly have a double check or or not. <laughs> the king can escape to e7. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't doubt that, but, but I was just trying, I've just tossed that into the maelstrom of speculation. 
Hmm. Well, it's not going to be F3, is it, or something like that? No. I'm looking at rook B7, and then oh, yes. and then, after, and then after you check the pawn queens, then knight E6 check, then king goes over to G8, which or E8. Ah, e8 might be a problem, but then the bishop's got some checks and can join in. Uh, no, the bishop it hasn't because it's blocked. The rook blocks the bishop. Uh, yeah, they fumble it. They they fall over each other, don't they? They're falling over each other to help, as my mother used to say. Yes. Um, in which case, is king is king d6 worth anything? Just oh, as a nice probably. Sort of neutral yeah. response, and also getting out of any possible checks that may. Yeah, king king d6 is the answer. Is it? Yes. Well, I, knew that. I knew that really. Because then knight e6 is mating two, isn't it? But what if the pawn queen's on b1? Yeah. Then you go uh you, you go knight e6 and then you mate with the bishop instead. But what if it go No you can't. No. Oh, the knight okay. blocks the bishop. Well, can go back and move. Can we can we <laughs> We... Martin, you're sacked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only as secretary if I call you Steve. <laughs> I like the, the King D6 idea was good, though, wasn't it? It seemed to be multi-purpose, didn't it? If it mm. a nice quiet move, which might be overlooked by solvers, which is, you know, these guys know what they're doing when they set these problems. It's not just for the sake of it. <laughs> well, why is there a pawn on F2? You, you have to actually ask, ask yourself, all of these mm. supplemental questions. The pawn in F2 on F2 is critical. It is, absolutely. Right. In which case, why is it critical? Because it blocks G5 if the king tries to escape that way. I've seen a line that... So there, there's a line I was looking at with knight check uh, as the first move. <laughs> Let's try knight check. As and, I think, and I think it works. And then, so this might, this is probably not the best move for black because it allows, well, I was thinking the, the line I was looking at was G8 and then that's where the pawn comes in handy. But I don't know what you do here. <laughs> this is what I couldn't figure out. No, no, it's, it don't be, well, maybe we can just guard it with the king and then, and then, because as long as it's not check, we've still, we're still in there fighting, aren't we? Can't we play king D6, uh, king D5 and then. Hold our breath when black promotes. Where's your next check coming from? Mm. Well, I was just about to say, you tell me, as my old biology teacher used to say. <laughs> but as uh, yeah, quite, um, well, I suppose rook d7 and then. Yeah. This is not working. Doesn't, doesn't work, does it? Mm. Well, it was well intentioned. Well, if you just check with the rook, the other check. <laughs> well, on F6. The only check. No, 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 no. Well, so, yeah. so knight e6, and then king up. There's so many options. And then the rook check. Does that work? No. Oh no, because it blocks blocks the bishop in. Oh, yeah, but don't, sure. don't 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 give it up without. I mean, after yeah. time, it is it. surprising, isn't it? Uh, King takes nine. Oh, yeah. Can you look? I don't know. I can't see how it works, though. <laughs> mm. Is there a mating net there with rook b8 or after he takes the knight? Mm. We, we seem to just have blocked the bishop in, which just looks ridiculous. Yes, it is. Well, it's unhelpful. Right, then, you know, we throw it open to the floor. We, we, we... <laughs> Just try all the checks. <laughs> well, we throw... Rook <laughs> takes one. Check. Yeah. I... Hmm. Well, why wouldn't we pr promote promote the queen now? Well, I don't, we don't no, no, we won't play a king move. We'll, we'll promote. Yeah, well, no, if you do that, well, how, how do you stop? How, where's your next check coming from? Yeah, not working, is it? No. I think we've got to go back to the beginning and have another think. 
I bet this is going to be something silly. Oh, don't be. <laughs> <coughs> when I went to, with John Upham to Eton for the problem, British problem solving, um, two of the guys came out to talk to us. And one of them said, as a question of protocol, that normally the first move is not a check. Whether normally it isn't, but it could be. No, exactly. I mean, yeah, of course it could be. Um, but uh, he said we, we, we would prefer it perhaps if it wasn't, or most of them you'll probably find. And he knew we, we were just learners, not even beginners. Uh, isn't check. Should I tell you what the first oh, move is? Oh. I, 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 I'm just, just thinking of one other idea, if I may. Go on. Rook B3. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to check on the F3. I've got to hand it to you, Martin. That's lateral. Yeah, that's why I was thinking it. So we ignore the fact he gets a queen. Now we check on F3. Now, now do we get a checkmate? Because now we can check with... If you want to E7, now we've got a knight coming into the game. I like it. Now we look like we've got some kind of mating net. <clears throat> Ooh. What about just going back to e E8? I don't know. E8. Uh, doesn't look like a mating. Oh, yes, it does. Rook it F7. does. Rook F7. You've cracked it. Oh, you have it if it goes. No. If it goes Oh, rook e7. No, now we're, now we're stuck again, aren't we? Yeah, oh, but... It was, it was a good try. No, hang on. We, we, we don't have to give up on that position. It was a good try. In fact, it taught us something about the position. That's half the battle, isn't it? But, but the, other, the other thing about that, Martin, was black could have queened on a1 and could have blocked the check on f by queen f6. That's true. And that would have... Uh, yeah. What about this rook b7? I mean, we tried that, but can we go? Can we try that again? Rook b7. Oh no, it wouldn't have blocked it. And mm -hmm. uh, let him queen one of the pawns. Then rook f7. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we like it. Rook f7, and uh, then there are two possibilities. One is king g8 or king e8. Okay, king e8. Then bishop. C6 probably. No, then he takes the knight. There's no mate the now. Knight. There's no mate yeah. now. Whoa, no. you've got a hope. No, it you is, won't mate. Yeah, it is coming like a perpetual sort of thing. Is it is it worth um Paul's hint, which was the pawn on F2 is critical? So I'm okay. assuming the pawn I needs think to get said to that to shut me up. I'm not sure. That oh, it... I thought the pawn needs to get to F4 to stop the king. Uh, well, maybe. No, no, no. It, 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 yeah, it, try it. So F4 is, 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 is a potential move at the beginning, you're saying? Yeah. Ooh, that... Why not? Why well, not? One, I don't know what it does. One move we haven't, we haven't even talked about was rook takes B2, have we? No, we it haven't. Wouldn't... No, it's... Uh, at least one of the pawns is, and then it stops that F2 pawn stops to look F2. So, um, Ooh. then what? I don't know. I, this might be drawn. <laughs> well, we got, we're trying to win, aren't we, as white? Yes. Yeah. So we've only got knight E6 now, haven't we? Well, you, your rook's on freeze and, and the well, bishop's yeah. on freeze. But apart from that, <laughs> well, yeah, but if we check, we're all right if we check, I believe. Well, then the, then the knight will be on priest after king e7. Look, whose side are you on? Yeah, we know. Paul, oh, we know that. The it's rook... obviously not the solution, then. Well, the rook could come back to b8. No, no. But then no. I, think, I think this is crying for the moon, isn't it? I think we might need some help here. What's the normal uh, time period for a, a, a good player to solve this problem, Paul? 17 days, three hours. Yeah, I thought so. Could you get some food sent in? Because we're... <laughs> Shall we go for the first move? Yeah, come on, the first move. Go on, then. The first yeah. move is... Well, we, well, six well, check. Well, we had that in the beginning, didn't we? You did. Yeah, we but did. come on, that, that, that's not... That's you didn't not... look at it properly, then. And the king can go to... Um... G8. King G8. Rook B8. G8 looks worth looking 
King King H seven. Yeah, this was the line I was looking at. Pawn F four blocking the king king from escaping, and then you can mate on H eight with the rook. Yes. Yeah. So the king. So I think that line. Here. I don't think that line works for the black. No. Oh, let's bring the let's bring the king here or here. Right. Now what? Oh, you've got the engine on, Paul. Have I? Yeah. Oh, turn, yeah. It, oh. turn it off quick. <laughs> Just cross it out. The right hand cross. That's it. That's it. Well, we've spoiled about... group B7. <laughs> yeah, but that's sacrificing the we knight. We don't understand it, do we? No. We would never we would never guess that move at all. That is the correct second move. Oh, wow. Why? Well, we're never going to guess that, are we? Or he can, Black can also go here. Well, let's try taking the knight. No. Why, why wouldn't we? Uh -huh. well, whatever. Take the knight just because it has to be part of the solution. Now what, please? Uh... Oh, oh, hang on. Now, can you play F4? This F4 yes, is, is significant now, isn't it? Because we, we just need to check the, the rook's going to move. Um... Yeah, but what about those thumping pawns? Well, I like F4. Is a bit... I mean, obviously, F4 is. It... Can you try. But... If, you, if you play. Yes. Yeah, this was my first look idea. at F4. Yeah. Oh. And then there's not really anything. <laughs> it's no good. No, the, the next white move is quite remarkable. Ah, oh, right. Quite remarkable. It's moving the rook to a a seven or c seven. I for f seven because the king can't take because you just fork check fork get the pawn on a two oh, and then he can't queen. Wow. Oh, I like it. That's it. Yep, yeah, you got it. Well, yeah. what are you suggesting? Rook f seven because he can't take it. Yeah, and it threatens rook, uh, bishop d five, mate. Yeah, so if it takes it, you play bishop, bishop d5, bishop d5 anyway. and then you stops, stop the pawns. It stops b1. Take that, yeah. So Ooh. we're not look, we're not looking for a checkmate. We're looking for a way of stopping Ooh. the two pawns. But then, but then it looks like he's getting the pawns here, though. F3. No, no this is a win. This is a win for uh, White. Yeah. Yeah. Or F3 would do it. Yeah, because this this pawn's going to run through. Wow. So yeah, that is it. So well, let's go back to here. Yeah, so it's not really a mate. We're looking for a mate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So yeah, what was the spec? Does it does it rook f7? White to play and win. All right. Now, if black now plays here. Well, you, you still go bishop d5, don't you? No. Oh, I see. You've got oh, that. Oh, uh, checkmate, isn't it? Oh, no, that's well, no, no, not checkmate. The king goes back and then you go bishop d5. The bishop d5 is the key move, isn't it? Mate. Yeah. We have f, f4 is critical there. There's no way you, you see that from the start position. <laughs> no, you don't. And he doesn't no even, he can even go here. Well, obviously, he'd do that, wouldn't he? I mean, he wouldn't want to take the knight. Yeah, okay, now what then? Now f4. Yes. No, you don't. Ah, you've got to be careful, haven't you? Can we can we take on G seven? I'm sure that, that doesn't work. It'd be fun if it did. Well, no. Why don't you take the rook? Just now? take the bloody thing. Take the rook. There is go first. All right, so just a minute. Let me just think about this. Rook F seven. It's probably not rook F seven at this point, is it? That would be an echo, but it isn't necessarily an answer. Hmm. 
stick the engine on Paul and then it'll tell us. I think Paul can. Paul well, there's can... there's other king moves at the start, right? Is that the, definitely the best king move? King e7. Uh, king e7. It's just, I'm just trying to remember what the mating hit. There's a mate here. Uh... Well, F4 does look Yeah, F4 looks I like fine. F4, but... And then do you have the same... Oh, no, because he can... It's not the same. Queen, it... queen here. Hmm. Hmm. What about RB3? The same idea. Switching the rook. Oh, yes. Uh, the pawns are in the way, though, aren't they, now? Rather than before, F4, 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 yeah. Rather yeah. than F4, rook B3. Yeah. I think it runs right. into the same problem. It's just queen, right? Ooh. I think this is calling on the gods a bit. No, I think the king's escaping now. Yes, isn't it? <clears throat> All right, what's that? He's out. Instead of F4, rook B3, probably. Yeah, because you've got more. That's then, more. He, then he could take the knight now. Yes. Now bishop d5. Yeah, it has to be. And then king e7. Uh, sorry, uh, e5. Yeah. Oh, now f4. f4, yeah. Then rook f3, throwing it away. That's no good because you'll take the e4 pawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll take the e4. No pawn. good. That's that's. that's Claudia that's... was working for the other side. Yeah. <laughs> oh. King s6. This is so entertaining. I never want it to end. Just it says in discos. Look at every bloody thing apart from the answer. All right. Let's have a look at the answer. No. Well, no. <laughs> Uh, where is it? So who is the composer of this study? Aloy Watawa. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, RB7 check. King F6. King F6. E5 check. King takes E6. Oh, well... We, we... All right, e5 check. We, we didn't King look at takes that. e6. King takes the knight. Are you playing this on the board? Because I'm not seeing it anymore. All right, we'll play it on the board. E5 check. It's hurt. Oh. oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you can't so take the rook, can you? Watch this. F4, oh, yeah. Now. Mate. How, what, how beautiful is that? Yeah. You weren't kidding um, about the pawn. <laughs> yeah. so, and he can go here. Well, you did that one, didn't you? Yeah. And then, yeah. It's the same. Oh, right. Yeah. So the crux of this thing is you put the rook on f7 and the king can't take it. Well, that's that's the bishop d5. It's rook f7 and bishop d5 is the key, isn't it? Yeah. And and if, if he doesn't let you do that, you play this f4. Well, he's got to do something. So in this position, uh, that's not the start, is it? No, mm. well, we've, we've reached this position back to play. What if that goes back to a yank? 
eight, you will get mated. Probably. Because, because you will play king to d6 and you will have the Vukovic mate. Oh, yes. No matter what you do, rook uh, e7 will come. Yes. Yeah. yeah, because the knights uh, guarding... Covering these two squares. Play. Yeah, clever. So in this position, he's got to play king takes knight or king f6. So try king f6 again. I forgot what happened. I think king king takes knight, rook f7 is just so incredible. But king here... We still go... Rook. Oh, no, oh. We play this move. Yeah. Ah. King f5. King. King f5. You can play king f5. Well, then you. Oh, no. Rook f7, I think. Oh, he's running away. Takes a pawn. No, takes the pawn, he'll get mated, right? Yes, yeah, it makes four. you with f4. He's got to go g4 four. then. Yeah, King G4 is he's running away that way. But King G4. Oh, hang on, there's a mating Rook threat coming. Rook F4. Rook F4. Yeah, Rook F4. And we've got a mating mate mate on the H farm. Yeah, Bishop F3. So this looks like mate. Yeah, Bishop F3. And because and you've got double pawns, the rook rook h4 is gonna be yeah. mate. So yeah. so we didn't look at that before, so that's if, if, well, if runs away, you mate him over there. <laughs> don't you think that's incredible? Yeah. 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 But very difficult. The other one, Rook F7, actually you are transitioning. Rook F7 is impossible to see. Yeah, you are transitioning into an end game. That one is a slightly is a tricky one. Well, we were all looking for a mate, a mate weren't we? Well, and there are a lot of mates, but there's, there's one line which just ends with white stronger. But it's white to play and win, not white to play and mate in two or anything yeah, like yeah. that. It was white to play and win. But, okay, uh, yeah, that's that enough of that. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you, Paul. Jack James um, P, are you still on? I can't see you. I think he's gone. And, and, Andrew, you you mentioned you may have something that you yeah, could I've got, uh, I've got uh, a good a good game I saw online um, where it's. Um, Someone will have to do the board for me though, and do the do the moves so I call them out. Uh, and then I've got quite a good puzzle. It's a bit more, a bit simpler, but no less impressive than the one we just saw. So okay. puzzle or the game or both. Um, well, do the game. Yeah, we just done a puzzle. Let's do a game. Are Are you able, Paul, to um, uh, open your your screen, please, and show us, and and then. Andrew can shout the moves. Yeah, I don't know where James P's gone. Has he gone for you guys as well? He's not on my screens anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Just, he yeah, cut he, out he... midway through talking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you want white at the top or the bottom? Doesn't matter, really. Um, uh, white. Have, it, have it at the bottom then, please. For me. Yeah, I prefer white at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, E4. What, what is this game, Andrew? Are you going to tell us what uh, it is first or not? The, the, um, the concept of this game is that uh, White is going to checkmate with his only remaining piece. <laughs> Black, Black has lots of pieces left. We like it already. Okay, E5. Are you going to tell us who it is or is it a made up? Oh, okay. uh, White is uh, Atkins, the British player Atkins. It was played in 1916. Um, I, uh, I've forgotten who the uh, black bear is. Okay. Um, H.E. Atkins, is it? So D4, E, D, C3, D, C, Bishop C4. Sorry? Bishop C4. It's um, the Danish, is it? Yeah, yes. Danish Gambit, yeah. Knight f6. Slightly unusual move. Now, again, slightly unusual to me. I don't know any theory of this. Knight f3. Wow. <laughs> Knight takes e4. Oh, 
castles. Yeah. Very wise. So what is he three pawns down at the moment? Yeah, bishop e7, surely. Uh knight d6, he went. Oh my word. Oh, hitting the bishop. Hitting the bishop. And protecting f7. And protecting f7. <laughs> and uh white, rather surprisingly, at first glance, now plays knight takes c3. We're going oh, how conventional. <laughs> so uh black thinks okay, bishop on priest will take that knight takes c4. <laughs> <laughs> Queen e2 check. Well, you assume queen e2 check, but no, it didn't play that. So, rookie one uh, check. Rookie one check. Yeah. Bishop e7. Now, this is all about the initiative. So, what? So, you, it's almost like a, a ready made attack. So, what would you play now? Knight d5. Knight d5, correct. Attacking the bishop. And he plays knight c6. He does. Next move. Queen e2. Queen e2. No. Bishop, Bishop g5. g5. Yep. Oh, yeah. Bishop g5 is better. Yeah, yeah. He plays f6. Yep. And he sacks. Ah, now. And now, bearing in mind the initiative, getting all pieces into play, what's White's next move? Oh, rook c1 then. Correct. <laughs> oh. And Black decides to protect that with b5. No, can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> and now what would you suggest now oh, hang, on, hang, hang on a minute there's got to uh, be some good moves I thought there was a sacrifice on f6 but I... rook, 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 rook 6 c4 rook where rook, rook c4 yeah rook c4 correct uh, why it's a defensive piece removing it from uh, could go to e5 oh, oh, yeah 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 wow. c4 <laughs> oh yeah Next move. like his pieces this we way. Need two. We need Nine, two. Knight d4. Nope. Uh, bishop takes f6. Nope. That Knight would have been a F6. good move. A somewhat surprising move again. Knight takes c7, check. No. Nope. Rook King takes h1. c7, check. <laughs> no. <Nope>. King h1. <laughs> Not that surprising. Yes. <laughs> I'll give you a, a clue, shall I? Yeah. yeah. A knight move. Knight oh, d4. Hmm? Knight d4. Nope. Knight e5. Knight e5. Is it threatens queen h5? Correct. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Which is mating two, almost. And now f5. <laughs> f takes. Hang on, why can't he just take that on e5? He can. He can take it with the knight. Oh, well, the pawn. Because the queen, uh, oh, he does. Oh, queen comes here anyway. Yeah, yeah but he got g6 now because there's no knight to, and then can't you go queen h6? All right, oh, doesn't win. No, I just realized, yeah, so, Play bishop um, back. If you went, if you went, what you what you suggested, okay, what about, um, um, what was I was thinking of there. Knight f6 check, is that a move? Pawn takes knight, queen h5 check, king eight, king f8, bishop h6 check. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then is that a mate there No, somewhere? it's not a mate. Oh, he goes no. to g8. Or you could simply play uh, rook takes e5, knight e5, bishop takes e7. <laughs> I'm not sure how many what material is. But yeah. anyway, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not validating the, um, this is a, uh, oh. the soundness of it all. I'm just saying this is what oh, happens. Yeah, of course. If we carry on with um, instead F G five rather than it, then takes on um, E five. Sorry. So, so he actually went pawn takes G five. They take oh, pawn takes G five. Yeah. yeah, Queen H five then. Queen H five. Yep, correct. Check. And he plays G six, then Knight G six. Uh, G six is played. Yep. Has, has play that. Knight takes G six. Knight takes G six. He didn't play knight g6. No. Something better. Oh, knight f6 now. I was about to say that, yeah. Knight f6 check, yep. Yeah, because then... then uh, yeah, it will be made. Knight h6 comes with check. He's running, out, he's running out of pieces, but he only needs one left. We should take f6. <laughs> now he can take... Knight takes uh, c6. 
Oh, oh night, night takes uh, two sticks. No, you've got to give up all your pieces, Martin. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Uh, <laughs> got that. What, what are you going for? Queen takes two sticks. <laughs> give, up, give up a piece. I can't see the mate there, though. I'd play knight takes g6 check. That's yeah. the move, yep. Yeah. Um, and now Black decided that um, he had to put the queen in the way. I think there's problems <laughs> with uh, if he go, puts the bishop or knight in the way, knight e5 will be mate, I think. Yeah. Oh, yes, in two moves, not straight away. Yeah, yeah. So queen e7. Uh, carry on. Well, we, we mustn't take the queen. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, well, got, rook takes queen. Knight takes queen. No, knight, check. no, knight takes rook check. Yeah, discover check. Knight, knight takes knight. queen check. Oh, knight takes queen eight. check is very strong. Well, knight is eight. Eight. Not uh, when you're four pieces down. Oh, actually, mate. you could actually work out the mate from here. Oh, uh, almost. That's, that's generous. Knight <laughs> <laughs> check, discover check. Okay, yeah. uh, if you go back, it's not that move. If you go back and oh. move, if rook takes e7 is the move, then you can probably work out the mate uh, after that. Black recaptures it. Oh, now we take. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh. and then the smothered mate, knight f7, uh, king e8, and then knight d6, and uh, he will go back, and then yeah, you knight d6. That's oh, that's double check. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. mate. Yeah. So that's not actually how it went, but that's uh, I'll show you how it went. But that's the same principle. So. Mm -hmm. um, Rook takes e7, he went, um, bishop takes e7. Knight e5 check. Knight f7 check. Yeah, the same thing, smothered mate will, this no. will be smothered mate. Queen d8. Oh, Queen d8 yes. Yes. And then uh -huh. knight f7, yeah. <clears throat> So he's two rooks and two bishops and a pawn down. Oh, we love it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Uh, huh. I've got quite a, a, a brilliant puzzle if you want to see this one. This, this is this one is quite nice. You'll uh, again you'll, you'll be able to guess this one, but it but it's uh, very flowing. So you need to if you I don't know how you do it. You need to clear the board. That's easy. Mm. All right, you're going to tell me what's where. Yeah, so um, there's our um, black black pawns on our, uh, A7, our G6, um, F4. You've never worked so hard, Paul, have you? No. E3. B3, cool, they're all over the place. Uh, E3, not B3. <laughs> How do, I, how do I get rid of this? Click, click it again. Click, click it again. again. Click again. Right. D, uh, D2. D2. <laughs> bishop, black bishop on D3. Oh, I black, like black's position. Black knight on D8. <laughs> you normally start by putting the kings on in puzzles, but anyway. Okay. Uh, king on E8. And that's uh, that's the black pieces. White uh, what, white's got a king on f6. 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 Yep. A pawn on d6. And a rook on d7. On where? D7. And uh, that's the, that's the position. So white is um. Who's to a, move? White uh, to move. White, white to move and. And win. So click OK. Well, what to move and win? Well, that's ridiculous. Well, knight e7 check is rather forcing. 
No, white to move and win. We say knight e7. No, rook to e7 check is forcing. Yeah. That's a good start. That's it. Then push the pawn. Let, let me go over to h7, don't we? Ah, but he's got knight f7 now. Yeah. Yeah. Or king g8. I think d7 maybe. Is that? Because... Uh... Not in this position, in the previous one. No, uh, this doesn't work, does it? Oh. Can you try d7 here? Yes. That's Threatening that's check that's on that's mate. mate yeah. on the... Okay, that's correct. Threatening rook e8, mate. So, um... This should be fine. Uh, oh, no, that doesn't work. Uh... Gonna run his, run his king now. Oh, so G8. Okay. That's correct. That's correct. Really? Wow. Queen, yep. Oh, yep. oh, oh wow. wow. That's correct. <laughs> That looks, that looks like we're going to mate him. Careful where you go. Uh, the d d d d d now, d7. now there's a, there's a one of you can go to c7, d7, or e7. One of them is better than all the others. d7, I think, because mm. you have an option of h3 also. Oh no, he's got a queen, queen back. Queen. Oh, he yeah. has a he has a queen. Also. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. That's good. Oh, could it be C7? Because you can check on F4. No, it, to H6. Uh, e7 works. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Why not? Because he means the next there check? there's no check. F F8. So it's... F8. But he runs away, right? Oh, they... he runs away. Yeah, yeah. I think it's okay. C7, so you can check on F4 and then... I yeah, don't no, see maybe. the continuation after that. That's yeah. Correct. That's the right move. Because then if he goes to H8, it's a mate on G7. So then F4, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then it's mate anyway on G5. Mate, mate that I don't see that. So he goes back. Yeah. Oh, what if he goes to, to H7? Then do, do you go h2 and then oh, hold on. then you'll play queen h5 h2 is not oh possible. yeah yeah but then you can go back to c7 check and maybe oh. a different situation then because yeah, the queen then... will get in his way <clears throat> no that doesn't work does that the queen comes across no, yeah, but, if he yeah, but then queen... you go back to <clears throat> now we go seven, to and then it's mate on g7 yeah 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 Oh, what if he goes? To, what if he just goes here? Yeah, we go there. Yeah, but but correct. Yes, but then but then we go to. Uh, we don't have a check. Oh yes, we do. Yeah, well, we do. B, B eight. That's correct. Now, oh, hang on, we're going to maneuver in here, aren't we? Do we go? To a, We're back to the same position. Oh, yeah. That's the same position. But then, but then H2 pawn. works this time, does it? No, oh, the, pawn, the pawn is no longer there. So now we can go into F4 again. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Uh, that's, oh, yeah. oh, flip. Oh, dear. That's buggered things up. <laughs> oh god. We need to go back. So you got this is this is this is this is correct so far. Next move, King H7. And now this is where you went wrong last time. You've got to play a different Queen, move. 
Queen H2 again. Oh, I, we take the pawn this time on A7. Correct. Yeah, because then we can pick off the A3 pawn if we want to. Oh. Now we're clearing the, the, the squares. Tunnel mm. vision on the mate, I think. <laughs> So why is this position different now, without now, those two? Now it starts to get trickier. Oh, gosh, I thought it was tricky enough already. I thought it was tricky. <clears throat> Correct. Do we go somewhere now where he can't check us, but therefore we're better off? No. You can check you wherever you put the king. You have to play a check every move. No, you can put the queen somewhere where he can't check you. Like where? Well, at the moment there are there are no checks on the on the king. That's a check. No, I, I was thinking the other way around. Well, that's a check there. Well, yeah, a one, yeah. He's always yeah. got black's always got checks. If white doesn't check, okay. So, may we crawl now queen uh, d7 yeah is it better to be on a black, black white square or a black square d7 then e8 then we can come back to e3 and it's a different position again yeah yeah we are we try to crawl in the zigzag way queen d7 yeah yeah this is end game stuff isn't it and now yeah We need three. <clears throat> We've run into the same problem though, blocks with the pawn. The, the pawn up. Oh, it can't do that. Hang on. Oh. Go back a few moves. We we could have we could have done it. So carry on. Carry on. Queen d7. I think it might be better on the black square. It might be better to go to. Yeah, because the bishop can't defend it. I think C7. Well, you had it there, carry on. You just stopped too soon. Oh. Oh, it was Queen D7, when, when, was it? Yeah. Was. Okay, yeah. so go Queen. Well, queen E3 three was the last, was the move. So, yeah. Well, so. No, no, this is no good. Well, Andrew's saying it's right, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, <coughs> right. Now what would you do? Okay. Ah, hang on. Why is Black it Black hasn't got that many checks? He's got a check on. He's got yeah, a but you, check yeah, on. But you can defend that square. This is kind of zigzag. Yes, there are no checks for, for there Black. Are many moves. There are there are moves, but not many of them. Well, then we got mate on H three, haven't we? Uh, yeah. Queen comes back. Queen comes oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm. So this is this is uh, um, correct. Oh. For now, yeah, we've got to find a move. Well, we uh, queen. Well, we've got to keep it. Uh, uh, uh. Is it queen f five? Yeah, but then you can do threatening check on. Yeah, but you can do queen f eight. Oh, oh yeah, of course, yeah. We've got to keep a guard on G6, and F8's a problem. Yeah. So I can't see a move that stops. Both of them. Well, we've got to go. We've got to go check again then. H3. Yeah. Right now we're going to do something different. Uh, no, we've got to. We've got to go to F5. That's correct. Because we've got to keep guard yeah. on G6. Oh yeah, that wins. If he plays queen e8 now, you can play queen takes g5. He's, and oh, that was my idea before, but I missed that he could. Uh... Yeah, right, he's got another move. Yeah, he doesn't have to play queen e8. What can he do? Oh, pull now. Yeah, g4. Yeah, g4. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now we've got to go through this whole thing again, haven't we? Yeah, queen f4. Yeah. 
Goodness me. Can you imagine doing this under time travel? Queen C7. And now it will be mate. That's mate. Queen G7, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mating against the, his own queen. Wow. I would have I would have agreed to draw several moves ago. <laughs> in, time, in time trouble, you probably would have found it because you would have just carried on playing checks. If, if I'd been playing it in time trouble, I would have made a mistake and lost. Yeah, well, I would have played <laughs> Queen F5 when the Queen was on E8 and lost. <laughs> That's very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Great puzzle.